Welcome to a special edition of Ask a Black Man, the show where we get real answers from real men. I'm your host, Kayla Walker, and on this episode, we're talking about the list. Yes, ladies, the men have a list too. And before we get started, we're gonna meet our men. First up, we have Dazal. Then we have Faison. Next up, Josen. Next, Egomeli. And last but not least, Devin. All right, guys, let's get into this. The list, okay? Tell me, why do y'all need a list? The list is bull. It changes. Mm -hmm. It changes. So, for example, what you wanted at 18 is not going to be the same thing you want at 25. Mm -hmm. So what so many people do is they drink the happiness Kool-Aid, right? And what the happiness Kool-Aid is is like, oh, society tells me I need these things in order to be happy, right? So you just put a bunch of things on your list that you think are going to make you happy until you experience those things and you realize, oh, snap. That don't even make me happy. I'm at a younger age, kind of. But, you know, you still see, like, random people popping into your life. And you're like, yo, I like this person. It has nothing to do with any kind of list. That's true. There's a, there's a you know, personal connection. There's good vibes. There's good energy. There's good chemistry between people. That's and you true. try it out. And, you know, you fill them out. And if you really, like, feel each other, then you'll both connect in some kind of way and work hard to make the other person happy. What is on this list? I think there's four things. Just four? Okay. Um, so one, she lets you chase your dreams in peace. That's one. Two, she has to know that everything is all about improvement. So physically, emotionally, mentally, sexually, there's always room for improvement. Three, it's magic, yeah. right? Magic? Magic. So like, you know, when you meet someone, it's like, I just want to get oh. to know them. I just really like them. Okay. It has to be that spark. The last thing is just, you have to have a passion for something. So you have one passion and one talent. That's my list. So if you're good at one thing, if you're down there improve constantly, that's two, I'll, that's I'll two out of four. List. That's a you, great list. It I'll take like his list. list. It's like short it. and simple, just like I've been like it. It sounds like a list, list of, of a guy who is looking to date. Now I'm going to tell you the real list, <laughs> all right? <laughs> this like, is the that's list. That's nice, single man. Yeah. Yeah. No, because this we have to be fair to the women. The women are really looking for answers, right? True. Let's be fair. And I understand, I understand your plight, so trust me, I get it, right? Men sit, okay, she got to look good, right? She has to cook, mm -hmm. she has to clean. Got to make us laugh, because sometimes we just want to laugh. Once you get into the particulars of a guy, and it, that's when the list really starts. It's like the fine print of the list. Right. It's like the, I the, 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 I, I the small that. things I agree with that. that, you know, maybe you didn't even, maybe the man didn't even know he needed until he was see, one year yeah, into not, a see, relationship. That, that made a lot of, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I think for me personally, my list is real simple. It's honesty. Because whatever you find attractive in me, I want my significant other to be my compliment. So mm -hmm. if you find my hustle attractive, have that hustle. Don't lie to yourself like, oh, I want that, and then you have nothing to compliment that. I think so often women try to find a guy and say, I want to make myself fit on his list. Yeah. And that's where the that, issues come and, in. And, so it's like, yeah. if I don't fit on his list, then something's wrong with me. No, sweetheart, nothing's wrong with you if you don't fit on his list. You right. just don't fit with him. But then, like I said, that fine print area is where a lot of things go wrong because people don't, one, the man doesn't necessarily communicate those things that That's he wants. True. That's true. Two, the woman doesn't ask, well, what, what, what more do you need? It's three things. Know what you want, know how to get what you want, and when you get it, know how to keep it. Exactly. I wrote something when I was in sixth grade. I was right hand to God. I'm going to marry me a light-skinned girl with green eyes, and I'm going to have pretty light-skinned babies in the sixth grade. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from either. But then over time, I realized, <laughs> over time, I'm like, oh, well, that's not me. But in the sixth grade, I literally got the paper at home somewhere in a box and a little scribble, my sixth grade signature. You're going to get so much backlash for that. Ooh, you're going to get it. No. Ooh. No. <laughs> so we posed this question to Instagram, and we got some feedback. At Tinder Loving Karen wants to know, are men as picky about their list as women? You know, I think the biggest thing for me, and I don't think we addressed this, is that this is ask a black man, right? I think a lot of women struggle because they don't understand the plight of the black man mm -hmm. and what we go through between the ages of 25 and 35. And I think that's the real issue here is why we as a people can't understand each other. You know, majority of the, the women who are going to watch us are black, right? And I feel like we systematically 
are taught not to like each other. If you look at just cosmetics, like he said, light skin, light eyes. You know, you see a woman, all these women on TV are getting lip injections, right? But if a black woman walks in with, with full lips, her lips are too big. What black men are going through in these days is that we're trying to grind. We're trying to establish ourselves. A lot of the men up here got bachelor's degrees, right? You're the mm -hmm. first in your family to get a bachelor's degree probably, right? right? Did your father have a bachelor's degree? So what we're competing against is that a lot of black women are looking on TV and they're living that lifestyle. Like, man, I want somebody who's 25, fully developed spiritually, mentally, has his foundation together, his money together, and wants to be with one woman. It's not possible for a black man to have all of that between 20 and 35 because we're trying to grow and trying to build something for you. And we're intimidated by you because you walk in with your Louboutins, your Gucci bags, <laughs> your, your shades on, and your first thought is, I want somebody who can provide all this for me. We can't provide all that for you right now because I just got out of undergrad. I got to pay back my school bills and my debt. What women would be surprised at is the things, not that we're picky about our list, but the things on our list that we're picky about. My brother said, like, for instance, like a woman that can make us laugh, right? That's like, cool. that's a big thing. That like, is. I, I, my girlfriend cracks me up, and I can't tell you how valuable that is to me. So, do you think that black women have way too much on their list compared to other cultures? No. no. Race is an issue, though. Because think about it, the pool of men that black women have to, to go in when it comes to black men is a lot smaller than the pool of white men. You have to be sensitive to the fact that, like, a black woman is, may have different needs than women that come from other races. Definitely. And just like Definitely. any woman that decides to date a black man has to understand that with that comes different needs and, different, and a different level of understanding. Ding, ding. You, you, you sign up to marry a black man, you should automatically know that when we walk out in these streets, it is less safe for us than it is for other groups about of people. How do you define black love? As soon as you date somebody with black, it's like black is such a dominant gene in, your, in the genealogical gene pool that it's like, it's black love. Like for instance, my father found my mother walking through the park, still to this day, refuse to believe that my mother's white. He says she's light skinned, she's Spanish, she's and, that, Indian. and that's where it comes from, that's where it comes it's, from. And he's like, this is black love. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've met you know, grandma and grandma was like Irish or something like that. <laughs> but he's still like this black love. Like, she, your mother's light skinned. She's not, no, she's, she's light skinned. I'm like, all right, well, cool. So I'm a product of, I guess, black love. So for me, seeing that growing up that way, just know nothing on the color spectrum that I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, well, if I'm not, a, if I'm in a relationship with you, it's black love. Okay. That's just me. All right. If you look at some of the hashtags, like mixed chicks, you know, for example, my wife is black and Indian. And she used to get upset when, you know, she would put, you know, put her hair and be wet and they'd be like, team natural, like, oh, you're not natural because you Indian. She's like, I'm black. My mother's Jamaican. Like, stop trying to take away my blackness. Mm -hmm. You know, and we had a popular magazine look at our wedding photo photos, loved them and said that they couldn't post them because my wife wasn't black enough. Wow. Uh, I and I think that that's crazy. crazy, man. You know how mad I was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted to black out. <laughs> Why don't you say the name of the magazine so we never read it again? <laughs> I don't want to support it, but I do think that what he's touching on is something that can, like, kind of, to me, black love is about defying the odds that um, society or uh, society is, is stacks against That's against you. True. You know, um, but people like, uh, it, yeah, it goes back to like identifying like what society is doing to us as a people, right? And how yeah. that is actually like hurting us. Yes. And if you don't act, if you try to act like that doesn't exist, then you're gonna hurt yourself. All right, get in here real quick, Faison. I, I got one like, more question. You know, people expect you know black couples to look like love and hip hop, or like one of these reality TV shows where you're like arguing and throwing wine on each other, exactly. and then like when you're in like a you know a restaurant, you walk into a five star restaurant. Let's say you're going to like the Ritz Carlton and you're chilling with your girl, they expect you to be black and then wilding out when you right. can't just sit down and have a distinguished conversation. All right, fellas, let me ask you this. Which celebrity couple do you think sort of displays black love? Beyonce and Jay-Z. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. Um, I think no hesitation. Barack and Michelle. Barack and Michelle. Barack and Michelle. Barack and Michelle. Jada, Jada and Will. Um, Remy Ma and Papoose. 
It's on the <laughs> urban side. We still do it. Pap Pap held it down Listen, when she was in jail. Nah, black people love each other hard and strong the same way any other, you know, uh, ethnicity or race love each other. And we're finally controlling the narrative because of forums like this where men can get up here and we can debate and we can articulate and we can talk about the things that that make us feel like we want in our women. I think that this is important. This is black love right here. This is bro black love. bro love. I love it. Yeah. I love it. We can talk about black love and the list all day long, but we got to wrap it up. Thanks for watching Ask a Black Man. For more episodes like this, log on to MadamNoir.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, how many girls do it? I will post my man across Monday, but the, the way these girls mm -hmm. are set up or the way y'all thirst is set up. Like, dudes can't do that. Dudes ain't black. I will post my women across Wednesday, but the way y'all <laughs> thirsty set up, I'm not posting. I got some thirsty post. dudes in my time. I don't really. He stays on gray. I'm 25 years old. I'm single. I'm a model slash actor, personal trainer, and explorer of life.